In this video, we'll take a brief look at the WD My Passport SSD and compare it with the SanDisk Extreme SSD. As with the SanDisk SSD, you get a cable and an adapter for a USB port in the box. Both are more or less the same size. The WD is marginally larger, but if you look at the price point, they are more or less similar, although the WD does not have a IP55 rating. Other than that, it's rated for twice the speed of the SanDisk Extreme SSD at the same price. Now, let us look at the benchmarks again. The first is the normal hard disk drive speed followed by the SanDisk Extreme SSD speed, which we looked at earlier. And then my Passport SSD speed, which is twice of the SanDisk Extreme. And last, the MacBook Pro internal SSD, which is twice the speed of my Passport. Given that the SanDisk Extreme and the WD My Passport are at the same price point for the two terabyte version, it is a no-brainer that you go for the WD SSD. In case you get a better deal on the SanDisk Extreme, go for it. There will be no perceptible difference in practice for all normal activities like photo editing or video editing. I do all of that on the SanDisk Extreme and I have absolutely no issues when I work with the WD SSD or with the SanDisk Extreme SSD. In practice, there is no real difference. That's it for now. Have fun. Till the next one.